Shiba Vishnu and Arishnu, and welcome back to another episode of Victoria 2, A Heart of Darkness, The Indian Campaign. We are back here, everyone, in this awesome, awesome war that we are participating in where we have some good news and we have some bad news. So, let's start with the bad news. Bad news is, the, Rus the Germans are invading quite quickly. Like, they are destroying the Russians over here, which is not good, because then that means I'm probably going to have to fight them later. Okay, that's the bad news. And they're also invading a little bit of Persia. Which I am probably going to have to deal with, because the Persians aren't smart enough to use this army right here to crush this army right there. Or use this army right there to crush this army right there. It's not that hard, Persia. Really, it's not that hard. It's basic tactics 101. Ugh. Stupid Persians. But... Anyways, um, the good thing though is that they're also crushing all the rebellions that Russia's having, so kudos to that. And yeah, that's basically all the bad news. The good news is, oh, and we our colony over here is just completely dead. Though, and the Indian Red Guards are spawning over here, so they are helping. They are helping the cause somewhat. I don't know. I I feel like they're helping just a little bit, but really, Dubai fell, and that was a sad day for me. It, it was a sad. And wonderful day for everyone when oh lag give me one second okay there we go just sometimes sometimes Fab just does that it has one of those lag fits so you just have to deal with it um over here our colonies are doing go kill these guys fine um yeah and then the philippines formed which was a big shock i've never seen that in my days of any day i've ever played this game i've never seen the philippines you know, Philippines form, which is something that, you know, is always good about Victoria 2, and people don't ever get this, is that in every single Victoria 2 game, something will be different. You know, it may be small, like, you know, you know, Ottomans finally conquer all of Greece, or maybe really big, like, the Russian Empire becomes the Soviet Soviet Union, you know, something like that, but, you know, it's something unique every single time. But anyways, guys, let's get actually into the war where... Um, I was thinking about this, and I was kind of thinking about this very personally, and I've been thinking that our men have been fighting pretty hard and pretty just, and they need an extra reason for why they are fighting this war, besides just that the, the leader said, you know what, let's go fight this war. And I thought long and hard about it, and I think the reason I came up with was the reason why we are going to war with Germany and China, was not only to stop the Chinese aggression against the little nations next to it, but also to stop the spread of communism <laughs> oh yeah we are actually fighting for well it's actually socialist but it's the closest thing to communism and since we don't know communism yet it's communism for us so we are fight we are fighting against the communists everyone oh great days for us great days all right so last as I last time I remember we were fighting this we were doing all this mobilization my brain was getting really tired so I started to make lots and lots of stupid decisions like why am I not moving any of these men over here to go conquer the rest of them over there? I, it, the reason escapes me. Why am I not sending these guys to go kill these guys? The reason escapes me. These guys, what are they doing? Oh yeah, we have a German force over here. Oh yeah, we actually, the Germans actually somehow landed over here and we have to go kick them out because they're jerks. Yeah, now it's all coming back to me. Why did you... Oh, and yeah, we can't get France in on this right now, which is such a BS! I should be able to call, like, the Great War system, no. The whole leadership thing, it should not exist with Great War. You should be just be able to call your allies in, I mean, that's how the actual Great War started. Let, let's, let's remember this, Austria was not the war leader, but yet they were able to call in Germany, and they were able to call in, which Germany then used that to call in the Tur Turkish Empire. I don't know. And then, what about Serbia? Serbia was able to call in Russia, then Russia was able to call in France, France was able to call in the UK. I mean, and, you know, it's just like... Ah, uh, never mind. Okay. Random tangents, everyone. Random tangents. So, all my armies are doing, hopefully, something. Um, Yeah, we are going to start moving up into the northern front. Now that we have a pretty secure, like, we are... Basically, we have to, what we have to start doing, guys, is we have to basically start pushing all of the Chinese out of their land. With the Russians' help, of course, because we're going to need the Russians. And then from there, what we have to do is we have to quickly, and I mean quickly, get make sure our money does not die. 
Because right now we're taxing to the full amount of our abilities. We are rapidly collecting debt. I don't even care. Like, um, I really just don't care. Because look how many loans I've given. Oh my goodness, I've given a lot of loans to my own self. How do you pay back yourself? I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, economy. Economy's growing? What the heck? How is that happening? I'm not growing my economy. It's supposed to be... Never mind. Anyways, let's get on with this. So, um... Yeah, lots of stuff to do. And she was starting to have that lag problem again. You know, I commented last time that we weren't, and now it's starting to happen. Now I'm starting to see it. Like, now that my brain's not, like, dead, I can actually start... To oh my goodness, this is really bad. No, please tell me you won't do this to me, game. Please tell me you won't do this to me. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's probably going to do this to me. Well, that... Yeah, that army's going to go over there. We're making sure we control our capital. That's the only thing I worry about right now. I don't care about anything else, because if our capital's under control, we are fine. Okay, let's go. Okay. Yeah, sorry, guys. I'm... I'm trying to think. I'm, 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 I'm really trying to speak right now, but I'm really worried about that lag. Like, that lag is starting to really... It's... Uh, you know, guys, the good thing about this, though, is in a couple weeks, like, literally in about two or three weeks left, two or three weeks, this will all be gone. I will soon have my new advanced computer, and we will all be sitting pretty and laughing and just laughing hysterically at how much this lag has gone away. I mean, we will be, like enjoying this thoroughly I mean oh my goodness I, I I kid you not guys I am not I am not I'm looking forward to the day when I can actually play games and not have to worry so much about fraps and lag and different things like that okay we got these you starting to invade me oh it's a good thing these guys can't get out of the war until <laughs> until I say they can because they all are satellite of me so that means they can't actually have a diplomatic options hooray puppets puppets are the best okay what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... Oh, he's killing my rebels. Wow, maybe I shouldn't kill this guy. He's actually doing more good than bad. Uh, 79 brigades. Let's see if they do not all die horribly with nutrition. Okay. Oh, my goodness. This is really terrible. Okay. I'm hoping by starting it while the game is going, I'm hoping that will make... Yeah, it seems... That... Wow, that actually does improve the fat's performance by a little bit. That's nice. That's nice. All right. So... Once all these guys finish up the little conquest, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly disband all my units in the... Uh, actually, I'm not sure if I'll be able to do that. Uh, what I was, guys, what I was planning to do was I was basically going to try to destroy all my units so that I could go do more stuff. Okay, there's a big gigantic force. So basically now, guys, like I said, we're going to play cleanup with all these little guys. Um, the Russians are obviously helping as much as they can because I've destroyed a lot of the Chinese. Like, if anyone's going to point to any nation that destroyed the Chinese... It would be me. It would be me. Oh my goodness, 60... Wow, a lot of my troops died in that. Like, a lot. And they're attacking really bad. Let me guess, they have gas attacks. They have gas attacks. Yep, the Germans won that battle. Not even gonna... Not even gonna lie. The, we should just retreat. Retreat. We're not gonna win that. I, I, already, I already know we're not gonna win that. That is a... When did the Germans... Ah, uh, Man, dang it. The one thing I am afraid of forever... Okay, how do we get gas attacks? We need it now. Gas attack capability, what do I need? Okay, good. Start on it, whatever you guys need to do. If you guys need to sell your souls to get gas attacks, get the stupid gas attacks. We are in dire situations right now. Like, this isn't good. When some other nation has the advantage over you, this isn't good. This is a crucial advantage, too. This isn't just, like, a little tiny advantage where we can kind of, like, get away with it and kind of be all merry men. This is really a big advantage, and that's really scary. Okay. What I'm going to start doing, though, is I'm going to start preventing a gigantic defense in the um, Russian defense, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's going to be now kind of scaring because I just realized they have gas attacks. But, you know what? India is still going to fight on anyways. We're just not going to fight on very well. <laughs> I'm not, like, I'm not stupid. Our generals are not stupid. They know the capabilities of gas attacks. They just don't care. And so I'm going to start spreading out my troops. I'm going to first get a solid line developed before I, like, 
before I like do anything so let's see alright yeah this is far enough back to where they won't be able to start kicking on my troops which we need to do we need to make sure we have far enough back troops okay so now I, I can kinda of, now that I understand how they how the Russians operate I mean these evil evil Germans I mean who would use who other than the Germans would use yeah, never mind never mind I, I, that's 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 wrong because I use cast attacks almost every time I go this in fact if you guys remember my Canadian let's play that was my main thing I was like gosh I can't believe I'm using these gas attacks against these natives oh uh, against these native Chinese men who I slaughtered and did not feel an inch of remorse for yeah that's just the type of person I am I guess so <laughs> don't ever give me gas attacks <laughs> well in this case I actually do need it otherwise my survival of my entire country will be hindered because the only country that will be able to stand up with me is Russia Russia I'm hoping will be able to get its act together I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get both Russia and myself back together because it won't be that it won't be too what I'm basically saying guys is that we're at the point where I won't be able it won't take me too many troops to like defeat the rest of the uh, um, what are they called uh, Chinese men we just need to send some few big gigantic armies and we're good. But with the Russians, we're really going to have to worry now. We're really, really going to have to worry. Okay, send some English. I don't think they're ever going to go up here. I think that's just a little bit too high for them. Yeah, even even with their spread out troops, I don't think they'll have enough for this. So, yeah, I should be back enough too to where they won't be able to do much to me. So, we're all good there. Um, This right here, though, is worrying. Um, divide my men, balance it out, whatever you have to do. Just make sure you guys aren't taking nutrition. That's all I care about. We're going to try to create a decent front. Not a very good front. I just said that. Just remember what I just said. A decent front. To try to stop this, whatever this might be coming at us. From happening. So I'm going to move these guys over here. We're basically going to try to stop them here. Whatever they do, we're going to try to... Let's hope they attack this one, actually. Ah, oh, dang, they attacked all of our good forts, too. I was going to hope maybe we could use that against them. And look, there's our men right here that are just sitting right there. That's good-ish. Okay. So, let's see. we got some more Chinese men. I'm going to move in right here because that's an unconsequential land. Um, I'm going to move these guys right here. Um, move these guys right there. Okay, that should create some no gaps in my military. I'm basically basically I'm gonna use all these guys over here to go crush the Chinese. That's basically my idea. Um, with the amount of soldiers that the Russians are providing, they should be able to clean up the rest of the Chinese. We're almost done, anyways. I mean, they shouldn't have the troops should be basically dying off at this point because they don't have much. That's worrying though. The Persians get out of this war, we could be in serious doo doo. Because I know the they're gonna rush into my land once they realize this, and I don't have this part protected anymore. Because I didn't think I would need to. Okay, so I'm gonna have to watch over here. Watch over here. Um, combine all you guys. Combine, go attack. Okay, over here there's a good sized army. You guys go attack the rebels. Wherever they are, go attack. We need to get back control of our government. Which is as crucial as you can get. So we have 79, 30, 33. We're not very good strategically because we don't have stupid militaristic directionism. The most important technology you have to get by this point in time. And sadly, I wasn't checking down there. Okay, so we got this basically handled. Um, as far as I can see, there's a big gigantic Chinese outpost over here, but the Russians are slowly starting to close the gap. Yeah, it seems like the Russian, the, it seems like the Chinese front has more or less stabilized. We just really need to get our butts in the gear over here and start protecting this land, which I am sending soldiers to do right now, so that's good. Um, we have some more soldiers over here. I'm going to go send these guys to go hit these guys, because like we said, we're just trying to make sure we hit all the uh, dead soldiers or all the like dead Chinese men, because we have more advanced soldiers. We already know this. We have to get gas attacks, man. We have to get gas attacks. I am I, I am seriously worried now because almost everything we do now is just scary. Okay, so let's see. Hostile occupations across the board. Because we have basically rebels in our country. I mean, there's, there's, there's really nothing else to say except we have rebels in our country. Let me go. I'm going to go focus on this for a little bit because I don't really need to focus on the other front. I need to crush these guys. Okay, now that these guys are crushed, 
I'm going to combine these guys. And now they both go hunt rebels. Because now they should be a more powerful force together than separate. Okay. Okay. Let's see. So Chinese. Yeah, okay. We're moving up slowly. Okay. You guys... Can you guys move the island? I guess you guys can't. So move over there. As you guys can see, we're slowly, like I said, we're slowly taking this all back. China is basically gone. China is like, China is the only place in China. Oh my goodness, why did you guys have to get a rebellion? You guys stink. <laughs> this is the kind of thing I would pull at the very last minute. Uh, that's kind of... Truthfully, that's actually kind of smart. Like, I would usually say this is kind of stupid mechanic of paradox, but that's actually pretty smart because that's actually what would happen is, you know, a new army would rise up to either try to protect the land or, you know, try to protect something. So, you know, kudos to them for actual historical accuracy. And the Red Russian... Why are we... I don't know why Turkey became communist, but it's a very interesting thing that usually never happens. So... We're gonna, like I said, we're just gonna try to hold the line against the, the Germans, who have way more troops averagely than we do in most of our armies. That's scary to think about. But the most scary thing is that we are not, we are the second most powerful na nation in the world in terms of military right now. That's scary. That's scary. Okay. Okay, we have more men. Okay, they have transports. Okay, move our men right there. We can basically move this in right here without any consequence. As you guys can see, the Chinese have basically dispersed. We don't see many. We we crushed them, guys. We basically won this war. Now we need to go win the other war. Which, uh, history has taught me, Germany is not an easy country to conquer. Unless you have other people that help you. If you have two wars going on at the same time, we need like a separate war for Germany going on right now. And we would be fine. Sadly, that isn't happening. And there are so many... You know, if they were, if these guys were to get out of this war, it would actually help us out because then we'd only have to defend, like, right here. But that's kind of my wishful thinking. But over here we have, we have the Germans doing the Germany thing. I'm going to move up my troops slowly. You guys can combine. Okay, you guys combine. You guys combine. You guys combine. Actually, you guys go right there. You guys go right there. You guys go right there. We're just going to slowly try to start pinpointing this German force right here with massive amounts of other army. Okay, you guys are all helping out over here. And oh my goodness, some of the rebellion spread to these guys. 